Hey, what's up, everyone? Dragon back again with another edition of the Kaiju Commentary. On this one, you're watching 1969's Gamera vs. Giron. Now, when you see the dialogue up here on your screen, that is your cue to start listening to us. So we're going to kick things off in 3, 2, 1. Hello! Welcome to another edition of the Kaiju Commentary. Today, we are watching 1969's Gamera vs. Giron. Gamera vs. Giron! <laughs> uh, this was another Showa classic. Courtesy of Dae, um, by now, if you've been following our commentaries or just you're familiar with the Gamma franchise in general, you pretty much know what to expect, what you're in for. Uh, again, super kid-friendly in the sense that, you know, mm. stars kids, uh, you know, kids who watch monsters employ first-degree murder to, you know, defeat each other. Yeah. Uh, this is probably one of the most, this might be, honestly, the most violent Gamma movie. Yeah. And, I, and I don't say that lightly, and, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm including even the uh, uh, the Heisei trilogy, the Heisei Heisei trilogy. Um, yeah, this uh, this movie is basically just like you know, murder in the first degree. That's what it should be called: Gamma versus murder in the first degree, because that's basically how <laughs> Giron kind of solves his problems. Um, yeah, it's a uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's something. It's, it's again, and that's always been kind of the you know the kind of comedic contradiction in these films is that they're unapologetically marketed towards children, you know. And Die made no illusions about doing anything else. They were like, we're going to target kids, and that's what's up. Yet they were so graphically violent, and kind of the only you know maybe saving grace for like parents who are afraid of their kids watching this violent thing is that it looks really fake. Like the budgets of these films pale vastly so in comparison to Toho's budget. So, not that, you know, the show era Toho films look super realistic. You can tell they're miniatures and suits, but they are some of the finest of their day. Damn. Not the case with these films. So, they look ultra fake, and that's kind of the thing that maybe I think parents and will excuse the ultra violence for, because it looks, it looks so fake to the point where it's comedic at times, <laughs> and mostly... But if you look at the act itself, it's just raw violence. The act of murder. Yeah. So if they had made these movies today with like big budget CGI, these some these movies would be like hard R in terms of just the violence alone. But whatever, it's a, it gives these films their charm, I guess. <laughs> Pretty good matte painting. Yeah, this film um definitely looks better than the last couple. I would say. Um, and that was kind of the weird thing too with the uh, with the kind of the show era gamer film was that kind of the the production value kind of went up and down a little bit. Like started off pretty high with the first two, or you know higher for the first two, and the yeah. next couple kind of uh, went downhill. And then you had a couple more like this one, and when it comes after, they kind of went up a little bit before ultimately going downhill again. So I mean, you you definitely saw attempts from Diet to kind of you know lift these things up but I think ultimately they just again I'm not I'm still not clear if it was just them purposely being cheap or they just literally did not have the financial resources to put into these films because Damn. you could definitely see you know the success of them when you did like again Toho and when we did Destroy All Monsters last week uh, it was again yeah, we said that was supposed to be their last Godzilla film and they put pulled out all the stops threw a bunch of money into it and lo and behold it did very well and they kept it going because of that so what if you put money into something it's successful yeah, uh, well I mean, I mean usually always, but, but again and, and I kind of feel that maybe this might be the reason why this film looks a little bit better than the last couple because they're thinking well, okay well maybe we need to try a little bit more you know scrounge together a little extra cash and you know and again, it, it's definitely more enjoyable than the last two, I would say. I definitely like this film better. Because of the murder? <laughs> <laughs> the monster murder. Again, kind of keeping now in theme with kind of like the mid-show era style kaiju films, dealing with like extraterrestrials. That that, be, that became kind of the big uh, narrative backbone of a lot of these films during this period of time, where you know, aliens as a kind of a, you know kind of the reason for what is happening happening which yeah. you know it's not a bad way to go because again i think by this you know the early show era had kind of exhausted the whole lost monster and or n nuclear creature so it's funny they felt that maybe that's but it was done to death so like, okay where else can monsters come from i don't know outer space there you go and i mean which you know 
No. That's how these movies go. They kind of go with themes. And here we have a, another... Tom? Western boy, <sighs> you know, in a, in a gamer film, much like the last film. Similar setup, you know, two boys, one Japanese, one, I'm assuming, American. I don't know. He could be British. I don't know. But uh, Western, for sure. And I, again, pretty sure this is actually this young man speaking Japanese. Yeah, I get like it. I mean, I guess it's always possible that he was dubbed over by a Japanese boy, but he, the actor is clearly speaking Japanese. You can see the lip flap. So, mm-hmm. but I'm pretty sure he is. It's, it's him speaking it, which again is something I give credit to Dai for doing. Whereas in Toho, when they had Western actors speaking, usually they would just have them come in speak English, and then they would just dub them over in Japanese. So it became kind of it was kind of like the reverse of what we would do here. We kind of, we always used to make fun of how badly dubbed the films were because you would see like what was coming out of their mouth wasn't even being attempted to match what they call the lip flaps whereas the irony is when toho did it it looked better they did a better job dubbing western actors than we did dubbing japanese actors but i'm pretty sure yeah it's him speaking the actual kid speaking japanese which i don't know it's good it's just you know Part of me wonders too if they did that maybe because it was cheaper that way they wouldn't have to redub them in post. So you have to hire another actor to cut. You know what I mean? If you don't want to get your ass kicked out, Tom, you're <laughs> gonna study. Should I? That's his mom. God damn, I don't want to get kicked out. Yes, ma'am. Study all night. <laughs> Look at, look at Tom. He, homeboy over there is just running his mouth, and Tom is just looking at his mom longingly. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. It just I want to hear him just slowly fade he's, away in the background, and then like some Kenny G music start coming Jesus. in, and just zoom in slowly on Tom's face as he's just checking out mom over there. <laughs> look, look at him. He's like, dude, totally gonna hit that later. What? I'm like, oh, yes, mom. Let's be real. Let's be Look at him. Look at him. He's like, dude, dude. Seriously, bro. Soon as lights out. Soon, I'm out of here, dude. Soon as your eyes close, bro. Like, you're gonna be calling me dad by morning. Oh. <laughs> For real though. For real though. Akio's mom does indeed have it going on. Yes. She's a she's a very attractive woman. So he's already teaching his new son how to ride a bike. Jesus. <laughs> I'm terrible, I know. You are. I am. Hey, I don't pretend to be anything else. Sexual frustration much? <laughs> That's how he deals with not getting it from Akio's mom. Jesus. He just keeps waving around a stick. It's like, yeah, bro. You work it out however you have to. He's like, hey, 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 hey. Glad I don't have that problem. <laughs> I, I just like taking out the car. You just drive around the neighborhood and taking out the competition. Jesus, look at that puppy. He guy. got the mom, but now he wants to keep the mom. So he just rolls around and drive by <laughs> on a bike. So what kind of magical gun does he have? A magical gun. Great guard dog, by the way. It's like a dark gun. I can still hurt if it's a... Oh, uh, it's like oh. a sticky. Kind of looks like John Oliver a little bit. Are you seeing it, or is that just me? Wait, what? He kind of looks like John Oliver a little bit. Oh, my God. Yes. I don't say that to be like like me and you. I love John Oliver. So, to me, it's, it's not a... It's the eyebrows. It's not a bad, like, comparison. I, I just pointed that out. It's like when I made the uh, the joke in the... Uh, the extra body space. I was like, "Oh, look, there's Neil the grass." Like, I don't say these things to make fun of the people I'm talking about. I, I like, I'm, I'm just saying. Oh, I'm, I and then there was the other one we watched, where it was like, uh, what was it? Japanese Tommy Lee Jones. That's oh yeah, 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 yeah. So here you go, folks. If it's the eyebrows and the glasses, man. If Hollywood gets the rights to Gamera, and they want to remake this one in particular, um, John Oliver, we got a, we got a role for you, Bo, bro. Bro. Do you call him Bo? <laughs> yeah. John Oliver's my Bo. Whatever that means. That's an older term. Oh, if you're naughty, if you're naughty, he'll shave your heads. 
That sounds really weird. And well, then uh, Tom here should be should have his shit bick by now because uh. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> he did like a, a gym from the office where he looked in the camera. He was I know. like. So is that like his Dwight then right there? Oh my god, yes. Now I'm just picturing this movie and I'm replacing it with like Dwight and like a... <laughs> Again, this film still kind of, on the surface, it has basically the same kind of, you know, like outline or structure as like the last one. Various where it's like, hey, two keep kids, one Western. Yeah, this film is infinitely more enjoyable. Yeah. Like the kids I find are more endearing. I mean, it's still a kids movie, but it's a more fun kids movie where I found the last... Murder. <laughs> it more, well, again, it's got more of a budget. The kids aren't Boy Scouts, so they're not wearing some kind of weird fetish uniform. And I'm just well, like, and the other kids were kind of little shits. Yeah, it, it was. I don't instantly dislike these kids. Well, I, yeah, I don't, and I don't know why. I mean, there's really no reason not to like this one any less or well, more than the other. Fair, the, again, those other kids are little shitheads, like yeah. pulling pranks and shit. This, there was just a vibe. I don't know. It's just a vibe when bon, the, bon. the the white kid in that one just looked like Hitler's wet dream. You know, Jesus. He, was like, he was like just little, like he, he he had the whole Hitler Youth thing going. The fact that he was wearing a uniform too just made me think of the Hitler Youth. That was a real thing, by the way, folks. If you don't know that, it was like a whole like basically Hitler's version of the Boy Scouts. Gross. So they're all blonde, blue eyes. So you have this blonde white boy in a uniform. I'm just thinking, ah, shit. <laughs> That's not a good look. Not a good. She's that. adorable. Again, I don't know. It's just something about this film. Uh, again, kind of being a, a late 80s, 90s kid, I grew up with a lot of the kind of stars. Yeah, that's something you see every day. <laughs> but I grew up with a lot of those stories where it's like, you know, the Goonies and that kind of thing, where it's like, you know, young kids at the center of like a thing and they have to solve it. I like the convenient uh, stairs. I know. Dirt. Look at that. Wow, that matte painting. Look at this great piece of art. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? And this film, while not nearly in that it league. It's like a giant. It has a bit of that vibe to it, kind of, maybe. I know I might be reaching here, but I I get a sense of that a bit more than I did the last one. So maybe that's why, for me, this film is it's more watchable. I can I, I can derive some enjoyment from it. You know what I mean? I like how she's just like, you guys are dumb. Yeah, like, hey, uh, boys. <laughs> this is a bad idea. And again, to I always try to, you know, give progressive points when I can. Like three young kids, two of which are boys, one a girl, and who's the one who's saying the only sensible thing right now? The girl <laughs> saying, "Hey, alien spaceship, just there. Maybe you know we don't walk on it. Just saying." <laughs> See, this is a more innocent time. This is before John Carpenter's The Thing. This is before Alien. This is before movies where you meet aliens and the first thing they do is like you know employ murder. Yeah, I mean, I guess there was The Thing from Another yes, World, let's but that was play really with it. The spaceship. It's a great idea. Yeah. I, again, it. it like I said, she's like it's better than the last one, but it's still not as it, it's still she's like, hey, let's just go to an alien spaceship and start piling it around. It's still very much a kids movie. Yeah, but I don't know if they're, if they're gonna do some dumb shit. I'd rather see a bunch of couple of kids go fly an alien. If we're just gonna throw all realism and logic out the window, I'd rather see them just get in a spaceship and go somewhere than like a fucking submarine. She's like, you fucking idiots! I'm telling mom. I feel at least they're committing to the fact that let's just go non-realistic. Yeah. Whereas with the submarine, like, well, let's try to keep it in the real world. But it's like, no, let's not try to keep it in the real world. She is adorable. Look at her. She is. She just kind of goes, God damn it, just put the lights up cigarette and go, <laughs> oh, God, now I gotta tell mom. Now I gotta clean up after your dumbass ass <sighs> That's what all angry, annoyed women sound like to me. Like six-year-old chain spooky woman in a slot machine in Vegas. Just puffing away. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. But look, the stars have jaundice. <laughs> hey, asteroids. Nothing to be yeah. concerned with. <laughs> Sparkly asteroids. Sparkly asteroids. You know, it's funny they always just show stuff like this in movies. Like, oh, we gotta avoid the asteroids, and you know, there's that great scene in Empire Strikes Back where you know Han and the gang are. Oh, here we go. I'll get back to it. I'll say in a second. We gotta. There he goes. Camera. I keep saying it. How does he have fire? Fire in space with his oxygen? <laughs> whatever. Whatever. 
It says magical leg fire. Again, same thing where Gamera is obviously established. People know him and kids know him well enough to call to him for help. And he saves people by face planting meteors. Yo! Kids want to buy some drugs? I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> Why are you guys always trying to race him? I know! I'm not scared now! But no, what you I was saying be. is like You're still in space. Yeah. That was you don't see even movies where having to like zip around asteroids and they get this like racing the Empire Strikes Back where Han is Leia, R two D two, C three PO and, and uh Chewbacca are, you know, zipping around the Lady Falcon where the Empire is chasing them, they're going around the asteroids and the TIE fighters are flying to the asteroids. In front of the ask like Neil deGrasse about he says, Asteroids are so big that two asteroids that are quote unquote close to, are close together are like a mile apart. Yeah. In, sp- in terms of, like, space physics, that's close together. But asteroids tend to be so large that avoiding one is like, you know, avoiding walking into, like, the Empire State Building. Like, how do you avoid that walk around? It's just that big. You know what I mean? Like, they could be in, this like, two song. separate counties, and that would be considered close together. I mean, you'd see some smaller together, but realistically, asteroids, are, most of them are so big, like... You're not going to see these tight little, oh, we got to weave in and out of, like, no. They'd be so big that you could just easily get around them. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, hey, let's navigate around these mountains in space, basically. But, obviously, it doesn't make for the same kind of dramatic tension. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, see, Gamera agrees. He just eats some. <laughs> Roll credits. Stop following me around. You always get me to some shit. <laughs> Yeah, you think Gamera would just, like, shove them back down into, you know, Earth. You think Gamera just stops wanting kids to hang out because every time they do, he ends up fighting something. He's like, I leave know. me. Oh, this is the reason why I'm in space, okay? I'm trying to get the fuck away from you, little assholes. It's like, fuck you, kids. Eat him. He's, like, screaming at them, go home! <laughs> leave! Leave me alone! I don't want to play! I have to be more than 100 yards away from children at all times. I'm, Jesus. Don't let my parolee find out about this. You sons of bitches. <laughs> it's kind of funny seeing like these space shots. Because again, we, like I said, we just watched Destroy All Monsters. And you look at the same kind of sequences in that film. Yeah. And you're like, wow. <laughs> That's what it looks like when you spend more than $20. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, hey, my sister's good at crafts. Let's have her build yeah. a spaceship. Let's, uh... Versus, let's hire a team. Versus the, uh, the, you know, <clears throat> the studio versus the fifth grade student film <laughs> project. Yes. Again, I mean, these films are charming in their own right. It, it, you know, I've always said it, you know, when you, whenever you're a fan of a genre of film, um... You, you know, you, you kind of fall in love with the genre itself, and you excuse some of the entries that are maybe less than, uh, you know, fantastic. And again, I, I I appreciate Gamera as a character, and again, it led to three amazing films in the night. And I we I know we always mention them, and yes, we will get to them. But it's one of those things I feel would those films that would kind of really really, truly solidify Gamera's kind of legacy. Because whenever people talk about Gamera, they always say, I want another Gamera, another Gamera movie. I feel if it wasn't for those three films, no one would be clamming for another Gamera film. Because they weren't even the most recent one. The most recent Gamera film was Gamera the Brave. And that was like, what, 2004, 2005, mm-hmm. or something like that. It was, I'll have to check. Uh, actually, I'll check right now because I'm kind of a fact whore when it comes <laughs> to these movies. Because if anyone should know, it should be me. Because that would be kind of hypocritical of me not to. Uh, Nobody likes hypocrites. Uh, Gamera the Brave, 2006. Okay. And that film, while it had a decent budget to it, production value, it wasn't a great movie, and a lot of people don't really, aren't crazy about it. That was the most recent one. Yet when people say Gamera, they, th- they get excited because they're thinking of the, you know, Gamera Garden Universe, Gamera Advent of Legion, uh, Gamera, you know, Revenge of Eris. It's like, you know, they think of those, and they're so good that they kind of push themselves to the forefront of everyone's mind. Mm-hmm. If the last movie had been Gamera Super Monster from 1980, basically the, the end of this run of Gamera films, I don't think anyone would be excited for a Gamera movie. But, again. 
Wow, the... her telescope's really good. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Holy shit. This makes me think of like a like a planet that a Kira Toriyama would design when you would sometimes see like the other alien planets in like Dragon Ball Z and stuff, and mm. now Dragon Ball Super. But again, it, it it you know these films have their place in history. You know they they are representative of an era, like what a lot of people Gee, call. Oh, what, whoa. What, what was happening? Whoa, was dude! Gross. Don't touch your dad that way. <laughs> I forgot about that. Can you uh you know stop molesting me? <laughs> a simple wake up would suffice. I'm just like I'm you... okay. Why is there air here? How is the, the air the same here? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad they at least acknowledge that. Yeah. Because so often, like, hey, we're letting other planets walk out. And for if one thing in the atmosphere was different, or if one little chemical composition yeah. was different, the air would be poison to us. Like, it, it would have to, you can't be like, oh, it's 8 out of 10 is all right. No, it has to be 100% identical or we can't breathe. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm glad they acknowledge that, like, hey, we can breathe here. You know, Who's you shouldn't. New star? You shouldn't be able to if breathe that was here a realistically. Star, you'd be on fire. I'm. I'm just saying. For someone who watches science fiction films all the time. Oh, hey, all right. Oh God. Oh, it's a bad neighborhood, is, guys. Is that who I think it is? Oh no. Space Gauss. Space Ghost. AKA Gauss with a different paint job, Space but whatever. Space Ghost. Space Ghost. <laughs> now what I want to say every time I see Gauss. Space Gauss. <laughs> So they recognize Gauss, so I'm, again, yeah. I'm assuming then the Gamma versus Gauss is still in canon. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's the reaction I'd have. Looks like pee. <laughs> Or lemonade. <coughs> Don't be weird. Gross. Oh, look, uh, climate change in real time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, here we go, he folks. Is. Here we go. Oh, my God. Murder made flesh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Guron. Or Guiron. Whatever the fuck he's called. How are you saying? <laughs> knife head. The yeah. original knife head. Yeah, I've always wondered, too, because I know the, the kaiju in Pacific Rim, some of them are homages to classic yeah. kaiju. And I'm looking at him, I'm like, okay, when you see Knifehead in the beginning, it looks very different, but just the concept yeah. of what he, I'm like. You prepare yourself, it's one of the most violent encounters in kaiju history. It, it, this is so violent, it's ridiculous. I love it, though, but it's like, Godzilla fights. See, how come he blinks, but uh, Gauss doesn't? Because Gauss is an older suit. Jesus oh. Christ. Basically, the Godzilla fights are like Street Fighter fights, and th these movies are like Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Things die the way things die in real life. They're dismembered, disemboweled, they're legit killed. I like he's like a little, he almost has like a bulldog kind of feel to him. Mm -hmm. And they're doing the thing where they hide the back legs. Even though actually the, the Gamera films would later on do another film where the quadruped kaiju actually, they designed the suit right where. There we go. Oh! Yeah. Fucking, just fucking rip that off. I know. God. Look at that. Oh shit. Like what the fuck? Children's movie. Just flop it around. Oh and he got God. more than just a wing, too. He got, like, part yeah. of the body, too. Like, he, like, took a... It's like, oh, well, fuck up your yeah. world. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Their reactions are like, oh, yeah. Look at him, look at him. There's some Dexter shit right here. Oh! Jesus Christ. And the fucking blood splurting. It's fucking George R. R. Martin, like, <laughs> like, wrote this movie. Okay, so Gauss is dead now, right? That should be enough, right? At the very least. Okay. Yes, let's watch Gauss die now. Okay, so Gauss is dead. So, at least over, right? No. Let's add insult to injury while we're at it. Let's, let's... He's like, I'm the butcher kaiju. Look at him. Fucking making sushi rolls out. Like, look at him. It's mean. That's, yep. Mean is kind of an understatement, but... 
It's like that slice wasn't good enough. Let's try again. <laughs> That's definitely the reaction it's I would have. Returning to its hole. Well, like, god damn, like, nothing in the Godzilla franchise has matched that level of violence, right? Mm -hmm. That was that alone was like Jesus. I mean, cool, but like within the context of the film it's in, it doesn't really work. You know what I mean? Let's like get into this mysterious pod. It, but you see what I'm saying by the fact that how cheap it looks, like. Oh, That's kind of the only thing, like, if you're a parent who doesn't want your kids, hey, there you go. Don't get me wrong, when we have kids, they're totally watching these movies. But, uh, but if you're one of those parents who don't want your kids watching stuff that's super violent, the only way your kids might be able to convince you to let them watch this is because, again, it looks so fake. Yeah. And so badly done. But I'm like, that just imagine it kind of if it was realistic. Well, that's what I'm saying. Imagine this movie live action now with like modern day Hollywood CGI. <laughs> that would be so fucking violent. But well, I say that, but look at Pacific Rim. Yeah. They were like blowing apart monsters. They was viable. What, what did like this movie? How did they get away with it? The monster's blood is not red. Mm -hmm. As dumb as that sounds, if you make it a different color, it's okay. And that's a real thing that I've actually looked up in movies oh, too. Again, it's like what they used to do with the anime. Remember, uh, what was the Knights of the Zodiac? They made the blood, like, blue or black. Something like that when they brought no. it to the States. Not in, yeah, well, in the 90s, anime, that was red, red, red. Yeah. But, uh, oh, the good old days of anime in the 90s when, you know, the rivers ran, ran, ran red with the blood of anime characters. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I mean, that's how they got away with a lot of it. Because, again, you see, like, them... Like, Leatherback, they blow open his whole side, they blow yeah. open his arm, they're ripping open, they're cutting off tails, they're ripping off wings. Well, but the monsters all have blue blood in that movie, so you can show it. Here, Gauss has purple blood, so it's not, the irony is, it's well, they've already shown Gamera has green blood. Yeah, exactly. So the, that's kind of the irony is that it's not considered gory unless it's red. It, it, it's blood... But because it's not red, it's okay. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's how these films get away with it. So again, Pacific Rim would have been an extremely gory movie, but because the monster's blood is blue, it's not going to... The censors let it go. Yeah. Same thing here. Even though, again, the act itself is still violent as hell. You know what I mean? And I love that, too. The Why would I understand Japanese? They're from space. It's like, yeah, it's kind of a good point. I, for, the irony is... As silly as this whole setup is, at least they're kind of acknowledging, like, you know, like some of the stuff that we take for granted we shouldn't. And it, it, it's kind of strange that in this movie they're kind of pointing that out. I mean. Like how Aki was, or uh, Tom was too dumb to just jump off before. And that right there is a map painting in the distance <clears throat> to make it look like. Now, in the old days, they used to either do map paintings or mirrors. Yeah. Uh, There's a great shot in 1986, Aliens, by James Cameron, where um, you see all the pods, the sleep pods opening up. Uh, to make it look like there was more of them, they went all the way down. They actually put a mirror halfway down. So you, if you look closely in the mirror, you'll notice the people inside are actually, like, some of the people you see in the, in the yeah. foreground of the shot. And it's just kind of, but it's kind of, he purposely left it out of focus. But if you look, if you know what to look for, you can tell. Oh yeah, there's like another Ripley. Oh yeah, there's another Vasquez. Oh god, what's that? It's a race of chipmunk people employing the, the same. Eyes. It's kind of cool though. It's kind of a neat little way of getting yeah. around. You know. The eyes are creepy though. Yeah, it, it, again, it's a it's it's a really low budget way of hiding the fact you don't have like a budget to give my like, alien makeup, but it's actually really effective. And mm -hmm. sometimes, the inexpensive root sometimes often is the best simplicity sometimes can sell something a lot more than something really complex like, yeah. even though Daya was doing it because they didn't have the budget mm -hmm. it had kind of worked out in their to their strength I feel Sierra Dore I, I think this looks better than the last film yeah I'm like it's better they just made it a painting mostly yeah again you can see there's more of a budget this time around because the last movie looked really bad yeah <laughs> We're female and sexy space women this time. I know. There is some... I, and again, and I'm wondering if, too, this is part of it a little bit. You know, a little boy fantasy. Let's... Big monsters. Let's go to it. And again, the same thing with the aliens just ignoring them. Yeah. Uh, let's go to another planet. We're, we're flying a spaceship. Oh, here's a, an alien colony. And look, the aliens are hot women. 
this is like a 10 year old's fantasy right here this whole movie is mm -hmm. just that I'm kind of like I don't know it, 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 it's sweet but it's kind of like yeah <laughs> like you know have you know Tom's like I'm a married man I'm sorry <laughs> My son, however, is available. But I might have to, uh, you know, take one for the team here. Hey, sailors at sea, right? <laughs> at least they're asking all the right questions. Now let's all pretend those aren't fetish outfits, folks. I know. Those weird wrestling, like, superhero belts. Oh, back in the day, these two would be like a tag team, trying <laughs> and wrestle like WrestleMania. Please welcome to the ring, the twins from a distant star. <laughs> <laughs> She's like stop talking. Yes. Oh, that 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 that's very good. Thank you for telling me these things. Uh, <laughs> Oh, look, something else to do. Barbella. Barbella, yeah. Little reference to Barbarella. Yeah. Also, not a kid's thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So they just have like a murder button that they push and then like murder comes out of the ground and starts murdering things with murder. Well, the fact that they had the technology to get you here already tells them they're a superior civilization. Yeah. Tom's just like, shut up, son. Like, yeah, I'm ready to go back to your mom now. <laughs> He's our murder weapon. We've managed to harness the power of murder and give it physical form. That's a great question. Why are there monsters in yeah. such a civilized place? See, it, it's strange, but these kids are like being very meta about kind of the whole genre. It's like, hey, how can we breathe here? That's weird. Hey, you know, they shouldn't speak our language. Hey, if you guys are so great, it's not a superior civilization imply not just a technological superiority, but a kind of morality, you know, warring and murder and genocide and killing is a very primitive kind of behavior. You know, I mean, human beings are essentially, you know, they're just primates who've basically had a, or pretty much human beings are, the only thing that really separates human beings from anything else is basically we had an industrial revolution. Yeah. That's really it. We're no better than, like, you know, other violent species of primates. Because we, we do the same thing. We use all our tools and technology to ultimately do what, like chimps do is commit war and genocide on each other so who cares we just have bigger badder tools to do it yeah. so a superior civilization in theory should has have gone beyond that all their technology should be used for knowledge and wisdom and you know bettering themselves as a species not developing means of death you know what i mean so i like how the kid you know as kind of silly as all this looks he kind of pointed out well you have a basically a living weapon at your beck and call why do you have a weapon you know yeah. <laughs> i mean like why if you're so much better why do you have developed means to kill again it's a great kind of question that on the surface might seem innocent but if you dig a little deeper it kind of has a much more kind of meta meaning behind it i don't know again already better than the last one mm-hmm I don't know. Maybe it's just my uh, my my sexual preference speaking here, but I find these two women more interesting than like the weird like cult of like yeah creepy middle aged men. I don't know. And like nurse scrubs. Yeah, that was that was all. That was a weird. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't really feeling that whole thing. And I kind of like how these characters have personalities too. They weren't like weird like yeah weird robot like dudes. Where do I find those kids? I know. 
so how fast can Gamera fly through space? Because if you think about it, it's like, how long space travel would take? I mean, I know. you could make your argument, okay, that's a spaceship from another alien race, so it has a propulsion system, that, 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 okay. Well, Gamera, like, must have then a propulsion system that can take him, like, I'm, I don't know. Don't think about it! <laughs> See, capes that don't go down all the way just kind of lose their effect. Not always. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the half cape. I'm not a cape guy myself. You know, when I go out and fight crime, you know, I'll rock the cow, but not the cape. It's just long enough to cover the booty. It doesn't cover their booty. It, like, stops the small of their back. It's the thing. It just, what's the no. point of it? Hers goes, like, to her cheeks. It does not. You just saw that white shot of her. I guess we'll see. <laughs> it's like mid cheek. <laughs> we don't want to show full cheek now. This is a kids' movie, after all. <laughs> just, just put more of the. Look at Tom. He's just lying like a fucking pimp. He's waiting. He's waiting for the girl. He's like, oh, I know what comes He's next. Like, Barbella, you coming back? <laughs> I've studied all of Captain Kirk's moves. I know what to do. When you meet space women, there's only one form of diplomacy. Lounge seductively. No, he went stupid. <laughs> yeah, I don't think how weird is he. <laughs> you go, you're like giggling weirdly. <laughs> he just looks stoned out of his mind now. He slipped that kid a roofie. Oh, man. This movie's pushing boundaries. You know what I like the most? You uh, know, girl. Don't be shy. Wow! <laughs> yeah, this movie really is like a ten-year-old boy's fantasy. Like, let's... Let's be real here. We all know what this... Oh, it's like reading his mind. Mm. That's interesting. Okay, this is where the movie gets unrealistic. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, let's read his little boy, this ten-year-old boy's well, mind. They're smart enough not to read uh, Tom's mind. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't it be instantaneous? Oh. It feels nice. What well, feels nice, Akio? What is, what is she doing to your body, <laughs> Akio? <laughs> uh. Yeah. Again, it's... It looks like we're going to backhand him. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's funny. Things like this, too, you could get away with more. Again, they're not saying you, but... but then again, I feel it's a bit more of an innocent time, so a lot of these uh, implications that we're making, the, these innuendos that we're kind of making jokes about... We're, we, we come from a more cynical time, yeah. and more cynical generation, so we're kind of like, oh, that looks like, that looks like they're, basically we're making the joke, hey, these two men are creepy space pedos who are luring these young boys into the little <laughs> sex dungeon, okay? That's what we're saying, because we come from a evil, cynical era. Back then, they probably were not making these anyway, it was more innocent, they weren't thinking that. He saved the child after putting him in danger. It was a setup. Why is, uh, why is his memories in black and white? Because it's a hazy memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Now they're in color. There we go again. Stock footage, folks. Please, um... Uh... Go back... I see his arm getting sliced. Yep. Please refer back to our commentary for these films, for this section. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got to get that stock footage. I mean, already this film has more new footage in terms of monster fights than yeah. the last one. But still, still, that's why the, uh, the the stock footage stuff is a little shorter in this one. Thank God. Still got to show and that bitch like lap. They keep showing the, the same stock footage each time, too. Yeah. The hand that's too small. 
Or how, how does he, reach he bend his... it that way? Uh, yeah, it's... Magic! Oh, they skipped over the uh, Barugon fight this time. Mm. Well, probably because I showed the whole damn thing in the last yeah. one. Oh, yeah, but goody, we get to see one. this one again. Shit, I'd rather see another flashback to the Barugon fight than this fight again. I know. <laughs> gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, Pokemon. There's a Hitler Youth Boy. Jesus. <sighs> Gamera, stop getting involved with children. See, so the very least, they, if they would narrate it over, talk about it, but we're really yeah. just watching scenes. Uh. Yeah. And they don't even like, they remove the audio for those. Yeah. It's just weird. It's just weird. I, again, I'm just kind of like, uh. See, I get why they didn't have the little girl go along with them, but I think it would have been interesting if they had. Again, I feel... Uh, but again, I feel this is, you know, little boy fantasy. Well, I was going to say, yeah, clearly they're aimed more for little boys. Well, sure. yeah. Again, this whole setup is like, boys, spaceships, hot alien girls, monsters. It, yeah. it, it's just like screams, boy! You know what I mean? They don't want a little girl because, oh, you're, no, n n you know, annoying kid sister, boo. It's that whole kind yeah. of like, oh, God, your sister's so lame. But older women are hot, you know? It's like... <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's it's just that kind of vibe that I'm, that I'm getting yeah. from it. So like, you know, the only woman we see covers the cheeks. But, Told you. Oh, I guess you're right. I am right, except for when they do that. Yeah, it's like a little peekaboo. Whenever Sleeping kind of powder. Oh no. You see what I'm saying? I'm just like, oh. Oh no. These women are like basically committing sex crimes here. Like this would be like a Law and Order SVU episode. Olivia Benson would be kicking down the door of this spaceship, arresting them. Ice-T interrogating him. <laughs> boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. You have to hear that, that dong, dong sound they always do. Oh. This is uh, Tom's mom. Oh, Hello. Your son, I mean, my husband. Oh, he's such a wonderful <laughs> man. And again, both these women are, like, just beautiful, older women. Like. Guess shot makes it like she's plotting something yeah, evil. I know. <laughs> Look, they stay that shit. to stay with us longer because we got married. <laughs> yes, they will both die. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, she's speaking Japanese too. So mm -hmm. again, I, I I don't know if these women were. She was dubbed again. I'm not quite sure. I was trying to look it up to see if like the. I was gonna say I don't think they're dubbed. I think they're. Again, they're the, the actress is clearly speaking Japanese. So even if she's dubbed, it matches the lip movement. So it doesn't. It's not really you know jarring. I guess. Yeah. Um, but I, I, yeah, I'm, then again, if they, if they went through the trouble Here of getting someone, the murder. I know, right? She just wraps a cord around her neck and starts choking her out, like in Child's Play 2. Jesus. Again, why go through the trouble of getting someone who can speak Japanese and if you're just going to redouble them anyway? I guess it looks better, but, uh... I, got, I think it was done for more budgetary reasons because, you know, the more, even in post-production, if you have the ADR people, that's still money you have to put into production. You still have to pay for that. Where the hell are they now? That's not where they were before. That's definitely not the same place they were in. I think she's confused. Silly ass children. Yeah, 
Again, I think it'd be done for guys for budgetary reasons. Just again, if they're speaking Japanese, well, there you go. We can use their audio. We don't have to hire another actor or pay another actor to dub them over or spend time in the in the booth, you know, dubbing yeah. over there. It's just the irony is it makes for a better movie in that way because it's more Eric, hey, here's a person who's speaking like you know, it doesn't feel jarring because you can see like, oh look, you know, their words don't match the lip flaps. So I mean, Toho did is because we have, we got so much money that hell, let's just cast a bigger American or Western name, put them in our movie. They'll just speak English like they want, and then boom, we'll just dub them later. No big deal. But here they couldn't really do that, so like, well, we need to find Western actors who can speak Japanese, so we don't have to you know spend more money redoing their you know their their dialogue. But it works better, so it's cheaper and it's better. So yeah. that's the one thing I give the Showa era Gamera films credit over the Toho. Is that, or even all the other kaiju movies of this period when they had Western actors who were dubbed over? I mean, The Extra Matter Space, you know, was doing that too, where they had, you know, dubbing them over. But I just think it's, it just feels, it just, it's better. I'm like, well, they live in Japan, they work in Japan clearly, they should have a handle on the language. And I kind of feel too for, I mean, and if any of you guys are out there who are Japanese, you know, let me know, correct me if I'm wrong, but. I feel for Japanese audiences, it it's it, it it would take them out of the movie less, you know. If every, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because no matter how good the dubbing is, there's a degree of you know falsity to it because it's not really that actor. You know what I mean? The only reason why I don't really like dubbed movies, I'll, I, I I I watch anime sometimes dub if I like the dub better because to me it's like well. They're not real. As long as the, the timing for the lip flaps works, it's fine. But when you see a, a live-action film, well, if you dub over the actor, you're losing half of their performance. You know what I mean? Because if you have a great vocal delivery that's been dubbed like that, well, it's not their delivery. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for me, I'm like, well, for better or for worse, this is this actress's performance. All of it. You know what I mean? What's happening, boys? What's, <laughs> what's happening? Well, at least one of them isn't smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Here comes more roofy food. Man, it took you that long. See, they just lounge around and these hot alien women are just bringing them food. And it's like, this is such a boy's fantasy, man. Like, oh, powdered, oh, powdered donuts? Yeah. Are you supposed to be a superior civilization? Oh, God, never mind. No, that's what the kid wanted, remember? Powdered donuts? Yeah. As a superior civilization, it's their responsibility to teach these inferior creatures, you know. I mean, bring them glaze at least. Come on. Powdered donuts. Is there anything more pointless? Really? The kid asked for milk? I get the donuts, but really? I want milk. Really? Milk's delicious, and you're wrong. Yeah, but 10-year-old boys don't think so. I don't know about that. I know about that. Well, you're the exception. Thank God that Gamera knows how to uh, track him down by the, you know, strobe light star. Tracking the star scent. <laughs> Don't you tell me what to do, son. <laughs> I am your father. You will respect me. Ah, you're just like your mother. No, I want donuts. <laughs> Fuck you, children. You dummy. Why'd you drink all the milk before the donuts? Like... How are you going to wash it down? <sighs> He's a good father. Look at him taking care of his son. <laughs> it's no, weird. don't eat the food. It's kind of weird how they're cutting back and forth. This is like, yeah, we're flying through space. Them eating donuts. Wow, it took him... Lightweight. Clearly he's never been drinking in Tijuana. Buck up. Buck up, son! Buck up! That's why they did powdered donuts. For the drugs. The drugs. Well, that's the case. Powder? Shit, this kids should have the exact opposite reaction. They'd be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot about this. Why? Ha! <laughs> this is 
is so weird. I like how they just put a fucking <laughs> buzzer on a goddamn Nerf gun. Yep. And this kid's doing it. I know. This is like weird fetish child abuse at so many levels. It's just kind of like, like... I sense my kid's in danger. Remove the skull. I like how they're still wearing the voice changer things, too, so they can hear, I guess. Like... Now, obviously they didn't show it, there it's that, but the implication of what was about to happen yeah. there is like, holy shit. Gonna cut him open and eat their brain. Again, this is like freaking serial killer sh child rapist <laughs> shit. Like, they I basically know. kidnap children, you know, give them drugs, and then like cut open their heads and like eat their, it's like, Jesus fucking Christ. How else are they gonna gain the knowledge they need to survive on Earth? Ask. I know. <laughs> How, how do you know this, Gamma? This is the dark days, kids, before the internet, when that's how you have to learn things, like murder. Eat brains. Now you just Google shit. How do we survive on Earth? Google it. Now it's like, nope, let's gotta eat some brains. Let's capture a couple uh, elementary school kids and rip Jeez. open their, saw open their skulls. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, that was the dark days before the internet, folks. <laughs> Of all these old sets, they feel like kind of like old TARDISes. Mm. Like Doctor Who. Yeah. Well, the irony is Doctor Who would basically have these kinds of budgets, so... I know, especially the, uh... The old series. Yeah. <laughs> Touchdown. Oh, Jesus Christ. Murder! Murder, murder! 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 Get your head out, Gamma. Murder! Ah, murder! Like, I can tell they just looped that. Gamma's like, the hell? Like, <laughs> I didn't come here for a back massage, did I? Oh, fuck! No! Gamma really got on the ground. It's like, you son of a bitch, get the fuck off <laughs> me. Just like... Again, the gamma fights are brutal. Like I like how they fight like big animals. They bite each other, they claw each other, they hack each other up in pieces. They dance. Again, the only <laughs> thing holding these fight fights back are like the budgets cuz they're 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 pretty kind of they're fun in the way that they're kind of staged. Mhm. Mm I mean, holy shit. Like right off the bat, Gamera's getting his back sliced into, then, like, starts gnawing on his hand and burning him. It's just like... Oh, God, I forgot about his shuriken head thing. Yeah. I don't think they were actually there before. I think there was just a circle. Yeah. But now... Ow! Jesus, right in the face! Not the face! Not the face! Gamera's mascara's running. <laughs> oh my god. How? Seriously. Just became like mean girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're actually a little too high, bud, but that's okay. This will be snow. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. How did he get out so fast? Again, this is like... Damn. <laughs> okay, I'm like, hang on, let me go, uh... I gotta fill a quota real quick. Let me go fuck up this city real fast. <laughs> so wait, where's, uh... Where's Gear on? He's like, back that way. Oh, behind him? So God, or Godzilla, <laughs> Gamer just turned his back on him? Oh. 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 So you're gonna do some synchronized swimming now? I like that, uh, map painting for the underwater room. Mm-hmm. Um. Huh. Hmm. 
Just what he deserves. Yeah, because he landed there. You guys don't even know him. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck that donut. Fucking powdered donuts. What kind of cheap shit is this? Whoa! <laughs> what the hell happened to you? Oh damn. Oh, great. My, my son's a skinhead now. Oh, God. He just <coughs> beams down, like he's got like a bottle of scotch in his hand. He's like stumbling around, like, Where's my dinner? That complex alien tech. How come Akio hasn't woken up yet? I think he ate more of the drug. True, actually, for he did eat like all three almost. Yeah. He so not only is he. Wow. <laughs> I like how that's how he wakes him. Get the fuck up, son. Worse than that, you have diabetes now. Oh. Okay, kudos to the kid. He actually let his head get shaved. Like, yeah. I'm glad they didn't do some kind of horrible, like, head kind of, like... Like, I was like, I'm ashamed of my head. I must cover it. Again, it's just, it's kind of cool they did that. Like, the kid was like, hey, kid, you're going to shave your head. Like, all right. We'll give you five bucks if you let us shave your head for real. Okay. Like 500 yen, I guess. Not five bucks. So, like, we'll actually bring real donuts and not prop ones if you let us shave your head. <laughs> we'll give you real drugs Jesus. if you let us shave your head. All these ships have like kaleidoscope things, even in the last movie. I know. Because clearly that's like outer space stuff. That is outer space stuff. Don't 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 you forget it. Wait, why'd they come from that way if the kids came from the other way? Really? Where did they go? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yeah. I'm judging this movie hard. Uh huh. Well, they're really not a. Uh, that was smart. You guys. really just maybe not run around. I don't know. That might. <laughs> okay, sure. You're smart. No, I think they're just dumb. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why we're not dead yet. Yeah. Again, it's like the other movie. I'm like, why? Why not just, you know, trap the kids somewhere, lock them up. Well, at the end of the day, you're still adults, so you're physically larger than them. So really, just like knock them out or hold them down and cut open their skull, like it, you know. I feel this is a very elaborate, that's how boys solve problems, hit it with rocks. <laughs> I'm sure this is a very elaborate way of, like, just subduing ten-year-old boys, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, just, you know. And we can't go, so we have to run past Kiron now, maybe. Maybe not. That's a cool set. I dig that. I don't think you really need to do that. Yeah, but it's fun, right? I know, right? Break stuff with rocks. The boys just start beating them with rocks. Oh my god. Guns. Here's the thing. They always do this thing where it's like, oh, do this or I'll kill you. Well, you clearly need us alive. Yeah. So you're not going to kill us. So let's just, you know, accept that fact right away. Smartened up and locked him in. It's like, go ahead and do this or I'll do the thing to you that makes what I need you for impossible. Um... And now we're going to leave you all alone again. I love how they did not. Okay, so we're watching. We're watching this film in Japanese, obviously. And we're watching the uh, the Mill Creek Blu-ray release of it here, and uh, that line right there. They did not sub. The kid was like, <laughs> and that is it, it, it. Can be used for damn, but it also can be used for like shit. I think it's kind of like a more generalized kind of like uh, like cuss word kind of thing, and it's 
and I, I don't know if I've heard this correctly, but it's how you pronounce it or what kind of emphasis you put on it might determine the meaning of it. Yeah. So if you do it with more emphasis, it's, it's more like shit. It's like a, you know, a, a bad, a worse cr- cuss word. Whereas if you do it more mildly, it's more like damn. So basically, so the kid right there either said damn or shit, basically. But I love how they didn't translate that. I kind of figured they would maybe just say like darn, or, you know what I mean? No. I just think it's funny they didn't bother translating it. <laughs> Kid's like, motherfucker. Don't you touch my child. Hey, you don't touch Tomoko. Tomoko touches you. <laughs> She'll just be like a Chibiusa and Sailor Moon. <laughs> Pulls out a gun. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, she is like Chibiusa. Look at her. I know. Oh my god, just give her pink hair and it totally is Chibi Moon. Look at him. Like, look at this man just groping her. What I the know. hell? Uh, should we be concerned about this? It's like throwing a baby lamb to an lion's den. Jesus. Get that kid a lawyer. <laughs> Buck up! Because he was murdered because you lured him here. I know. Terrible people. I'm trying to fucking sleep. Too. I know. I was like, can I please just get like five minutes? And it's kind of interesting that a lot of time when we see Gamma, he's like a puppet. We don't we really, we don't see the suit too much. Yeah. Anytime he's flying or like underwater, like you know, like. Do you have un- a pistol? Does he? Oh, I think it's that that little like oh. Nerf gun thing he had. You see him switching out the clip, putting in real bullets. Whoa! Look at the convenient hole. This is uh. Back in the day, where they didn't have to put like the the orange thing at the tip, so people knew it was a toy. Say. Yeah, it looks kind of... Yeah, it looks like a real gun unless you actually put the, the little thing in. Yeah, or if you go back far enough, like, toy guns looked like real guns. But then there were incidences where uh, kids were shot because cops thought they had real guns and they thought they were, the kid was going to shoot them, so they had to... Uh, yeah. You know, they realized, oh, so now... We Wait, have so to they put... just let him out? Good job, children. You let out the murder machine. The murder monster. No, no. Tom's clearly America. That's why he's so good with handling a gun. <laughs> so one thing we love in America, folks, murder. is liberty and guns. I'll shoot people so they bleed to keep those stripes red. Wow. <laughs> uh... You laugh, but it's true. <laughs> you know, uh, like I said, folks, this movie's meta. <laughs> Don't think you have enough time. Yeah. I think Objects the murder make... trains come. I know. <laughs> There we go. Ooh! Oh, yikes. So, should it be, like, completely open on one side? I guess maybe the back end? How are they not falling, though? See? She swore there, too. Mm-hmm. And they didn't translate it. Hers is more... I think if you do it that way, it's more like shit or fuck. Look at that. Cold-blooded. There can only be one! Is that why there's only two of you? Oh, pew pew in the Shot her in the arm. Oh, Oh, I thought it was like her chest. Oh, that's just Giron's M.O. like every time. 
I know. Again, where are these cameras? Where are they seeing this? How are they seeing this? Magic space tech. God damn it, kids. I, I can lose. I almost I, I kind of just did, kid. That's why I'm down here. Oh, Gamera just looked like he's waking up from like a hangover. It's just like, I know. Oh. So, okay, okay. Let's, let's get up in three, two, oh. Nope, never mind. <laughs> five, no, five minute break, then we'll try it again, folks. <laughs> God, stop screaming at me. Okay, but that if that fell, and that means the top's open, so climb out, children. <laughs> oh. Well. Seriously, it looks cool under there. Mm. I kind of wish they made just... that map painting the world itself. Yeah. Give it a good green sky, because it would look a little bit more alien. Seriously, like, this is going to sound really stupid, but the way they made a uh, gear on blink... It looks so much better than every other kaiju blinking I've seen so far. Even in, like, Toho. <laughs> when it's like, King Kong and, uh, ouch. Manila. Minya. Minya. I guess getting a rock in the jaw is just what he needed. <laughs> Buck up, camera. Get out of the pea lake. The pea lake. Thank God we are unhurt. Somehow. Somehow. He just flies away like later. <laughs> you guys have done enough damage. Well, they kind of have the similar mouth, like the tusk thing. Mm -hmm. Away! Jeez. Ah. I love the sound that makes that bang. Yeah. Ow. Seriously. I like how it just looks like a finger puppet there. <laughs> now we're... Cutting to the suit. I think Gamera needs to get a shell on his belly. Well, yeah, he uh, that's, he looks very flat, yeah. very thin. Again, something they they beefed out like his chest more in like in the nineties. Because mm -hmm. oh yeah, he looks very from from the front. Well, it looks, looks all right. Like he's he's supposed to ha like. It's, I mean, obviously turtles have shells in their stomach, but he doesn't really look like he does. Yeah, again, it, it, I, you can see the effect they're going for. It just doesn't really work. So it's too flat. Later, loser. Ooh. Ouch, that just looks like it'd be painful for him. It would be if uh, Guron was like lying on his back. <laughs> I know. Sliced up the butt. Oh, yeah, this part. I oh, God. Remember? <laughs> yeah. He's a gymnast. Let's go to the Olympics, camera. And the gold medalist goes, too. <laughs> ah, get over there. Get over. Ah. <laughs> He's just showing his, his uh, athleticism. Oh. It's like, oh, yeah. Give it up. Hey, those are back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's doing a little Irish jig now. I know. Or like he's doing air guitar or something. Oh, apparently the go go. <laughs> I don't think that's how the go go works. I don't think so either. I guess that's just how they work, apparently. Magic shurikens. Ouch. And he goes back in the water for more time. God damn it. Oh, 
Oh, he falls into like a fucking vampire. Like, I was gonna say what? What just? Okay. Freaking Dracula going into like his coffin there. It's weird. We had a weapon. To do what? Go fight him? I know. Because walking's hard. It is. Walking's for the losers. In the age of space, we don't need to walk. Even though, ironically, how the guys in the last movie kind of, like, floated through yeah. more advanced than them on their little platform. That looked more fun, too. Yeah, it definitely did. Especially when the kids tried to do it and they fell. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, isn't that the room that got destroyed? I think it's supposed to be, like, a different one. She's, oh. like, in a different section of the city, I think. Maybe. Get it out. It's like, motherfucker! I love how the rocks are all, like, rainbow crystal Bleh, crystally. Crystally. Oh, okay, that one totally hit that kid. I know. That shit shattered his back. See, how come he can, like, just bust out now? It's almost like we haven't seen this before. <laughs> Yay, let's be happy about that. I know, right? Seems greener there. I don't I know. know. the lighting. It's probably one of the few fights, too, where Gamera is on the ropes for the majority of it. Yeah. Like, he usually always has the upper hand for most of the fight. Even though I'm kind of like, okay, so I get the shurikens hurt, but I'm like, against, you know, the flashback fight they showed with Gauss, where he got his arm fucking sliced open and he could still fight. Or the last fight with Varus, where he got, like, like impaled. Yeah, multiple times. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's like a paper cut to him, this should feel like. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like the knife guy should get rusty. Should she get rusty? Is that what she said? Yes, he's in water. Oh, someone's got a foot fetish. <laughs> Not my feet, they're ticklish. Oh, that just. <laughs> That's awkward. Children, look away. <laughs> You hope. I know, right? Blast his ass in the space. That's one way of doing it. Whoa. Oh. You're going the wrong way, buddy. I'm like, I was going to say, wouldn't that be... Oh. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be better just to take him into space? Like, yeah. I, I, he has no means of repulsion. I like, just put him out in space and he'll just float away. I guess it's more humiliating like this. I guess. Camera's like, you've embarrassed me in front of the children. Now the missiles. Like, geez, what are they, <laughs> Bond villains? <laughs> Did I slice it in half? Camera, why are you holding that? Why is she, like, hurt when, like, nothing was actually happening to her? I don't know. That's how death works. Oh, that's good. Put them deep enough. Uh-oh. What? Oh. Gamera, aim for the hole. Ooh. Um... <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ Cut in half apparently But not his head Where it blew up 
again, I love that you show the monsters dying. Not yeah. destroyed. Not defeated. Dying. Like, you just got killed. <laughs> yeah, Gamera's calling us. Get over here now. <laughs> oh, is it that easy, Gamera? Just, just pop it back together? It's repairing the spaceship. Uh, yes. I, I don't think it works that way, Gamera. He just heated that thing up. That thing would be like... That's what I was just going to say. Like, they get in. He just heats them alive. He just crushes them. You little shits. I know. That effect's done kind of decently. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. compared to... Other versions we've seen of it yeah. in Die films. That was probably one of the better ones. Oh, I mean, I guess that works. I guess. I was yeah. going to say, how is he expected to fly, but if he's just going to carry him? Like, you can't just carry him in your hand, but alright. Because then they go into space. Clearly. We're so lucky. I don't think about anything that happened to you. <laughs> should uh... Even though it's your own fault for getting on that damn ship. And we got the song. If you just listened to Tomoko, you would have been fine. Song. Freaking children's cult song. <laughs> Some Lord of the Flies shit. <laughs> it does have my jet propulsion. <laughs> Oh, God, I said it before, I'll say it again. Children singing in unison is just, there's nothing more evil. Yeah. That's, that, that, that's literally what evil sounds like, folks. You hear a bunch of kids singing? It's like, nope. Get out. Dude, where the hell these motherfuckers go? <laughs> How long were they gone for? Just like a day? I don't know. She's like, son of a bitch. I'm gonna knock their asses out. John Oliver, quick help. <laughs> Hello, science man here. <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> I don't believe you. You're a fool. I You're hate you. You're a police officer. Clearly, you must be lying. Back to when this movie had a budget. I know, I was thinking that. We spent all this money on this map painting, you bet your ass we're going to use it again. Good thing, you know, Gamera's going to have the decency to bring them back where they came from. I know. Exactly. Just like drop them off in Fiji or something. <laughs> Don't want a gas mask. Why is she wearing the same clothes? Again, I'm wondering, how long has it been? I don't think it's been that long. I know. Don't fucking patronize me. <laughs> I'm very sensitive. But only boys, not girls. Yeah. Only only boys. Not till the 90s anyways. Oh, yeah. In the 90s, he befriends Steven Seagal's daughter. Hopefully wear their lab coats out there. I know. Just so you know, we're scientists. We're, we're, we're wearing our science attire. These we coats... want you to forget. These coats help us uh, implement science better. They enhance our sciencing. <laughs> he just lands and crushes them in their mouth. They're <laughs> in his mouth. It's like, this is what happens! This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. <laughs> Just leave me alone. We should have believed our children, huh? That's no, you should ridiculous. watch your children. You should lock your children in your their rooms. Because when you don't, they get abducted literally by like molesty 
Well, technically they did it all. You know, they did it themselves. They abducted themselves and brought themselves to Exactly, them. like, chain your kids in a basement. I never Don't want to see kids Don't forget to again. brush your teeth. <laughs> so you should leave it off on some kind of, like, life lesson. Don't worry, I had my father with me. I just, I honestly, this whole trip was about me getting a haircut. I promise. Chip <laughs> off the old block. <laughs> oh, great. I can get turned down by a whole new planet of women. <laughs> Sweet. I just about struck out with every girl on earth. Except we didn't see any of them. We just saw two women. We, we met the murderous, pedophile, like, space psychopaths who, like, shaved my head and were going to rip open my skull and look at my brain. But I'm sure there's some good ones it's, out there, it's, too. It's time to put in the moral of the story. I know. <laughs> Brush your teeth. Buy low, sell high. The end. All in a day's work. I'm just trying to ignore you guys. I know. No, 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 don't, no don't get away from me. Get away from me. Camera's running away. No. You. Leave me alone. Just burns them all. <laughs> Run, camera. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, get me out of here. No, uh, I'm getting a restraining order. I know, right? Uh, this one was fun, though. Let's be real. Fucking... <laughs> God, this movie. Yeah. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this one. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.